Now, 50 years ago today, an RAF Hercules transport plane flew into Cambridge Airport to be serviced by the engineering company Marshall. It was the start of a long business relationship with the RAF. It's now worth more than a quarter of a billion pounds. But as Alex Dunlop reports, the anniversary flypast was somewhat thwarted by the December weather. Like a bridesmaid running up the aisle before a wedding, an American Osprey flies past the expectant crowd at Marshall Aerospace today. The VIPs collect on a balcony to watch four C-130 Hercules descend to 500 feet. Sadly, the clouds descended even lower, but at least we heard the roar of their engines. But in the best tradition, here is one that Marshall prepared earlier, albeit 50 years ago. Similar foggy weather, but this was the first Hercules to be serviced here. And the Cambridge-based company has had the contract ever since. The latest one to 2022 is worth £269 million. The RAF has 24 of these planes. Around half a dozen are serviced by the 1,200 workers here at any one time. They are fairly complex as far as the avionics go, but the fundamentals of it are, are quite basic, which is, it explains its uh, longevity in service. Well, in the last 15 years or so, I've done more flights on Fat Albert, as she's affectionately known, than I can recall. She may not be the most comfortable plane, but she's certainly one of the most reliable. While a major service on your car would take a day, an overhaul of this airframe takes up to nine months. Hercules from across the world are serviced at Marshall, but the RAF is by far its biggest customer. The last contract we, uh, we actually signed with the MOD, we took 20% uh, out in terms of real value and increased availability by 30%. So year on year, that's pretty significant. And how do you manage that? By, by doing things smarter. It also helps to win other MOD contracts. Marshall work on the Navy's astute submarine class and supply the kit for Army mobile hospital units. But this is the flagship deal, celebrated with a special paint job on the tail of an iconic aircraft. Fat Albert has a few decades of life in her yet. Alex Dunlop, BBC Look East, Cambridge. Finally, it's been revealed.